hi guys so as you can see i have the uh, orange pi zero up and running so today in this video i'll show you as to how you can run a blink local server on an orange pi zero the orange pi zero is uh, much cheaper uh, than the raspberry pi zero say even if you consider the uh, latest w version the orange pi zero is much uh, cheaper than the uh, raspberry pi zero in all uh, the 512 MB version of the Orange Pi Zero along with the case and the add-on board just costed uh, 12 or 12.5 dollars whereas on the other hand uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero W board alone costs around uh, 10 dollars and uh, if you add the peripherals needed say such as the OTG cables and all those stuff and a case uh, it will easily uh, touch say 15 or uh, $18. So the Orange Pi Zero uh, is the cost effective uh, system to run a Blink local server. So today I'll show you as to how you can get the Blink local server up and running in an Orange Pi Zero board. To help you with the installation process, I have made a guide file which has all the steps listed sequentially. So you can find the download links for this in the description of this video. So for this demonstration, I'll be using the 0 0.23.1 uh, version of the server. So as and when a new version uh, releases, you can update it. So to get started, first we'll uh, log in into the Pi through the SSH. Key in the IP address and then press enter. Type your uh, login ID and password. The process of uh, setting up a local Blink server uh, differs between the Orange Pi and the Raspberry Pi. The key difference lies in the process involved in uh, installing the Java Development Kit or the JDK. It is much easier to set up the JDK in Raspberry Pi when compared to the Orange Pi. So in order to get started with the installation of a Java environment, you need to first install the JRE, copy the first command paste it in the terminal and then press enter and then choose yes after the installation of JRE you need to install the JDK for that copy the second command paste it in the terminal and then press enter choose yes So after the installation of JDK, copy the third command and uh, run it in the terminal. So we need a Java 8 version for running the local server and all these are just uh, steps which lead uh, to the installation of the Java. And then next uh, copy the repository link and run it in the terminal. And now uh, we need to make sure that the system gets files from the repositories. So for that run the sudo apt-get update. So after completing the preliminary setups or installations, next step is to install the uh, Java 8 using Oracle Java 8 installer. choose OK and then choose Yes next step uh, is to set Java as the default work environment to do that uh, you need to set Java as default copy the command run it in the Terminal. So as you can see the system by itself has prompted you for this command and even I have given the same command uh, just with an addition to the root permissions using the sudo. So after this, 
you can actually uh, check the Java version by running Java C space hyphen version. So it says it is a uh, Java 1.8.0 underscore 1 to 1. Uh, which means which means that uh, it is Java version 8. So right now uh, we are in the root directory. You can uh, verify this by typing the command ls. So it lists uh, all the folders within the current directory and as you can see we are in the root directory. So in order to get the path uh, run pwd. So it says that uh, we are right now in forward slash home slash pi. We shall create a separate directory for all our blink related files and for that we'll make use of the make dir command. So this will create a new directory called blink. In my case uh, the current directory is a forward slash home slash pi. So in your case it could be different. So that is why I suggest you to run the pwd command get the current directory and uh, replace it in the make dir command. So after uh, creating a directory you need to move into the directory. So after going into the directory we will uh, get the server file. If you run the command uh, while inside the root directory what will happen is uh, it will get downloaded into the uh, root okay so now uh, the server file has been downloaded and uh, after that we need to generate the SSL certificates say by default uh, you will have the open SSL uh, installed So run the certificate generation command, copy and paste. So now you will be prompted for uh, entering some specific details for the personal details. So once you are done uh, entering all your personal details, next we need to convert uh, the key uh, into a dot .pem file. So in order to do that, uh, run the next command. And now you'll be prompted for an encryption password. You need to remember this password as we need to enter it into the uh, server.properties file a bit later. Okay, so now we need to create the server.properties and mail.properties file. So I have given a link to the Blink's git page which has the server.properties raw file. Copy and run that in the browser. And now this is your server.properties raw file. So within the SSH You need to create a server.properties file. Run the sudo nano command and this will create a server.properties file. And now copy. Copy the contents of this web page and paste it here. So now just crawl up until you reach the certificates section. So here you are. Here what you need to do is you need to copy paste what I have given over here. And here you need to type in the password that you used for converting the dot key to dot PEM. So that is it. Uh, you can just uh, save your server.properties file. 
press control x to save and choose yes and then enter so now server.properties is done and next we need to create a mail.properties so this will uh, send all the authentication tokens to your uh, projects again run the sudo nano mail.properties and copy and paste this uh, link for getting the mail.properties contents copy this and paste it here here what you need to do is uh, you need to enter your uh, gmail id most of you will have a gmail id so enter a gmail id in case if you are using a two-step verification you need to generate an app specific password and then paste it over here so after entering your uh, username and password press ctrl x save and then exit So after we are done with the server.properties and mail.properties file creation, uh, we are almost done uh, setting up the Blink server. So just one more step is left. It is to add a line of code in the RC local so that our uh, Blink server uh, runs automatically on boot each and every time. So to do that, open rc.local. And then in here, copy the copy and paste the command. So when you copy and paste this command, just make sure that uh, you change your directory accordingly. So in my case, it is uh, forward slash home slash pi slash blink. So in your case, it could be anything. So that is why I suggested you to run the pwd command a uh, couple of steps uh, before. So just uh, make sure uh, that you change your directory accordingly and also change the server name as and when you update to your server. So you need to paste this above the exit uh, zero. And then press control X, choose Y and then enter. So now at last uh, we'll run the Blink server you can move back to the root by pressing cd space dot dot now we'll run the blink server so now it says that our blink server has been successfully started so let me just uh, move on to the Android app. So let me open the Blink app and now choose create new account and in here tap the uh, three dot symbol, change it to custom and set your host address or the custom server address to the IP address of your uh, Y. port will be 8443 so there is no change in that choose ok and uh, type whatever uh, password you want choose sign up so let me just quickly open the admin panel uh, in the desktop and there you can see the confirmation for uh, users registration and before that uh, let me just create uh, some random project vmos d1 mini I'll not, I'll not be running any uh, code on arduino or vmos or anything it's just to check as to whether uh, we get an authentication token that's it so give us name choose create Now choose the hexagon symbol and choose email. Okay, so now you should get a pop up at the top. So this is it.
so i have got an authentication token now so let me just quickly show you the administrators panel in the desktop where you can see the confirmation for the user's registration so the address for the admin panel will be the address of your server uh, colon 9443 forward slash admin so once you type that and press enter you will receive a prompt regarding a certificate issue choose continue anyway. you can check for your hardware versions here I haven't made any connections yet so so under the user list you can uh, find the user account that I just created so so that is pretty much it guys so that is how you can uh, set up a local Bing server on an orange pi board so it can be any any orange pi board uh, I have just used an orange pi zero so you can use any other boards So I hope that uh, you find this useful and informative. Thank you.